Here I am in Peppermill. You're looking towards the ATM machines, uh, and now we're looking towards a, a smaller entrance. Uh, and I'm going to play this wicked wheel machine hot stuff. See, hot stuff. That up for more progressive chances. Uh, what does that even mean? That's marketing. not like you have better odds, but people assume that's what they meant, but it isn't. Okay, 40 cent bets, five of them. I'm, I'm using my five spin method to assess the casino at this time, and, and you can look at that voucher to see what time and day it was, uh, and I'm also using the, the the five spin method also as an assessment of slot machines because I'm learning this casino I'm new to Reno and and uh, I've gambled at Pepper Mill like two or three times put more time into Atlantis but I'm trying to learn Pepper Mill as well I, I, I enjoy it it's wide big and clean I've heard the comps aren't as nice as Atlantis, but then I suppose it would depend on what the comps are that you like. Okay, so let's go back to this Wicked Wheel machine. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to learn about a casino. I, I always advise get to know your casino because what they choose to do uh, is really what they choose to do. If there's another casino right next to you, uh, with a different casino operator, <laughs> it, they could make a completely different choices. And that's important to understand. Uh, of course, then there are the state gaming regulations, which all the casinos within the state, within the gaming jurisdiction, have to comply with. So if you go to a, a horseshoe casino uh, in one state and go to a horseshoe casino in another state, then it has different gaming regulations even if they wanted to they couldn't have the same rules between the two same uh, choices of winning so there is 12 cents out of my 60 cent bet yeah I'm over by a, a, a I think that's a um, cafe bar don't think it's the high limit area over on the right side. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to walk along this. This is leading away from hotel registration. It's a beautiful widescreen TV. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to go up to this machine. They're not facing the people walking down this aisle but there's so many of them and i've had some success at a few of them so i'm going to try the first one in this collection see what we get started with a hundred dollar bankroll making 88 cent bets on one uh one penny one cent machine penny machine Okay, so I got the 50 cents on, I think, my fifth bet. And I'm down to $91.77. So I could head this way, and you can see some of the landmarks in the area. I do love, I do love cash falls. A lot of people think that there's a, a, an advantage play by letting it, by continuing to play and trying to get those columns but if there is an advantage play, it's very minimal. Doesn't mean we don't like to play it. Yeah, so if that was to fill in, I'd get all those together. And so I got some cues. And moving on, not gonna try to wait for the column to fill out. And I'm not picking uh, there isn't a reason why I'm picking that one and the dancing drums before it. Uh, it could have been any one of those. It probably is. But here you, you come around the corner and you see this first machine. 
X2. I think that's a card reader. And so let's take a look at this machine. I have uh, $90.67 left. Oh, I wanted to show you, if you look closely here, uh, that is the maximum progressive values. If you're a slot stalker, I mean the type of uh, person who likes to play uh, the must hit by amounts, uh, this is, is a place where this machine has the must hit buys uh, uh, in the game rules rather than on the screen. I know, just mind blowing. Also, it's on Wicked Wheel, but it's only on Panda and what's the other one? Fire Phoenix. This was a Fire Phoenix, but it wasn't on the Hot Stuff version. Okay, so now I'm coming around that corner. This is a long aisle uh, so next to the long aisle uh, to the gaming area. And you can see back. So, okay, so people coming around the corner, I'll, I'll, I'll play this machine on the back side of that other Fire Phoenix. To, because all this is about using highly visible machines that casinos have set up to win, and it's a matter of which highly visible machines and their chosen budget. Oh yeah, it'd be great to get a Wicked Wheel, but that was most likely the taste I would get from this. A non-monetary taste. Well, I did get 10 cents. Okay. So let's go over that next, uh, back down this aisle. This is uh, the end row. You can't see the other machines uh, when you go down this aisle from a distance, but you can see the one on the end. I hope these uh, uh, demonstrations uh, help you to understand your casino, to learn your casino, and what machines uh, could be set up to win, just to attract people to play it. I have a kind. 50 cents. And, and it, it, so you're looking for machines your casino has set to have better odds to give out taste to try it and, and uh, uh, those machines are what you're looking for. If you're, there's no point in casinos setting up machines that are kind of facing the back wall because nobody would see the win. So it doesn't benefit the casino to excite the crowd. But these machines, this carousel, uh, it's seen from every direction. There's an entrance over one side. It's the enter uh, you walk down the long hall, uh, but it could be the one that's just to the left as well. So, okay. Now, isn't that exciting for people walking by and me? So I made an 88 cent bet, several of them, and I won $2.50. This is, this is it. Yep, down to $86.93. So these machines are not exactly facing people walking down the hallway, but they are kind of prominently displayed and maybe one of them is set to win. So I will check this machine. sense. Okay, not that one. <laughs> but I don't try every machine every time, but let's play the one next to it. Ten cent win. Not that one. And as you, you know, go through your casino and you use the five spin assessment tool on highly visible machines, it's a combination of my strategies. Uh, there's many combinations and I'll be doing demos about those. Uh, so let's go to these, you know, we're going down the road to these three machines and see if uh, one of them is set to win. No, it's, they're not, none of them are. It's, that's a 10 cent win uh, first bet. Good to know. And as you use this assessment tool, five spin method assess as an assessment tool of your casino slot machines, then you can uh, just you know 
learn your casino and remember, don't play those again. So this is the Panda version of the Wicked Wheel. There's also Fire Phoenix and Hot Stuff, both of which I've already played. A bunch of diamonds. Now see people walking up, walking up uh, this corner, uh, you know, see that three dollar and sixty cent win and say, "Ooh!" And that's the whole point. The casino is paying for marketing by giving me a brief win. But they can also see this machine. So let's see if both have been set or. Likely only just one. Fifty cent win, so not that one. Now there's lots of demo videos to do. Uh, if you're, if you've just found out, if you're new to my channel and just found out about the five spin method, then you're a newbie. Uh, and just, you know, maybe try to do highly visible machines to be able to uh, see how widely visible this is. Uh, but I don't like how much it's going to ask me to bet, so I'm going to move on. But, so, you know, if you're a newbie, five spin method, highly visible machines, you should be able to handle that. But it's going to be like a hot minute later that you're going to be asking questions. Uh, good questions, and I encourage you to ask questions. Like, for instance, what denomination to bet? If it's a multi-denomination machine, which one, sh which denomination should I play? Well, you can use the five-spin method to play each denomination, and those demo videos are, are coming. And, and it'll be like playing these highly visible machines. It w it will be obvious which denomination has the best odds. It can each be different. Whether the, the, but the casino has to choose to do so. And 50 cent went, okay. Uh, and this highly visible machine. Uh, and then you can also uh, do other things with the five spin method. Oh yes, there's a couple of uh, uh, cash falls, of, uh, uh, four of them, uh, just, on, just behind me and I, I played them uh, uh, on their bonus, not bonus rounds, but it's a feature, a two minute feature, and I played them, cycled through them, cycled through them, cycled through them in a past video, which I'll point out here, and uh, here, uh, in this card, and uh, I, I don't think it's much of an advantage play. I've always had, I've, I've consistently had better results just with line hits, uh, so now I've stopped doing that. That was my conclusion from that video. And since playing it, yep, eighty one down to eighty one dollars, and those machines are visible. Uh, there's, you know, the last three in the row are easily visible from a distance. I'll play the first one here, see what happens. Down to eighty dollars and sixty three cents. Okay, so that was a not 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 a not a small win. That was uh, nice. So again, end of row, and here we are at the uh, what 13, 14 minute mark, uh, and I just won over five dollars, five dollars and five cents on the end of row machine visible from there on the long hallway. Yeah, so I'm. You know, eighty-four dollars out of my hundred dollars after fourteen minutes of play. So this one is also visible from a distance. So let's take a look. And, and all this is what I'm remembering for later when I visit the casino. So I begin to understand which one's best. All right. So that's not a small win. Another fifty cent bet won two dollars. On the second, second or third uh, bet, so that's that's improving my bankroll. This is, you know, why don't you just do this? Five spin method, up to five uh, bets. Stop if you win anything at all. And uh, let's go put down by the table area and and on highly visible machines only. And there you go. 
Enjoy. Okay, so there's another uh, uh, Gold Hills that I enjoy, and you can see the two-minute timer. If I were, if I'm going to play this, and it's it's going to say, "Oh, you're in the middle of uh, you know play for two whole minutes," and I'm like, "No thanks." Uh, five bets maximum. Yep, in the middle of it all, and etc. Et and etc. One. Two, three, four, five. Uh, 75 cent bets. Didn't win anything, no taste. The display was what you were, was the taste non monetary. So I'm down to $81.93. These we could see from a distance. On the back side are other machines where you would be facing them, coming from the other direction. Well, I'll play some of those. Second bet. Third bet. Fourth bet. All right, one eight cents. Now I have a $30 loss limit. I bring in $100. If it drops to $70, uh, then I stop, and that that will be it. Uh, so let's see how we're doing. We're at $78.49. So uh, $8.49 before I say, okay, end of session. Alright, 116 cents down to $77.90 on my bankroll. Started with $100. Yep, see, time, time and date stamp on there for you. And that's the, I think that's the high limit room, but we'll check that out later. There's another Gold Hills, and a, um, is that a Wicked Wheel? I believe it is. No. I do love wheels. I, I started on Wheel of Fortune and I just, yeah, it's just, I'm fond of it. I don't think I'll win on them uh, everywhere I go. Please <laughs> remove that kind of thinking. Fondness is one thing, winning is another. If you win at one casino doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win at another just because you like that machine. You can be comfortable with it and you can be fond of it. Like those machines already, and here's another Gold Hills. Uh, let's come back. Okay, so you can see it's visible from a distance. That's the whole point here. Uh, these demos. $76. Ooh, ouch. $5 bet. What the heck? Well, I got a taste for 240. Ouch! I do not like to make five dollar bets when my whole plan is to make minimum bets, 88 cents, a dollar at the most. Ouch! 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 Um, but I did get 240 from my five dollar bet. Okay, so now we are on this machine. Yeah, <laughs> sure it is. Thanks for the marketing tip. Uh, okay, some things going on uh, with this machine. There's diamonds. Let's see what happens. There's a wild. Making 60 cent bets. I'm down to $72.25. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Bonus round. Bonus round. Pick some diamonds. Okay. This could last a while. Which is fine. I, I complain about, oh, it's a bonus round. Uh, and the casinos cl complain about the bonus round. People love bonus rounds, but I'm like, hey, I'm making money here. Could you just give me a line hit for the amount that I'm going to eventually win? So I'm choosing uh, some of these diamonds, these, these uh, gems, not diamonds, sapphires. Uh, and uh, it's filling out the wheel above with uh, and, and giving me additional games. It's a several things going on. 
Uh, and there is uh, plus five respins, so if you land on one of these uh, symbols when the game actually starts, it'll have a five, I added five respins, uh, five more respins, all on my 60 cent bet. I think my second 60 cent bet. Okay, so now I need to spin the wheel. I'm trying to give you back up a little bit to give you uh, the whole effect. And let's see what we get here. I always look at this and I'm like, don't look at the grand. Don't look at the grand. Okay, so $5. But I have more games uh, to play. Swipe it again. Major and grand. I just, I want them so bad. Okay, so that's a 250, but it uh, uh, multiplier it brought it up from five dollars to 750. You know the grand. <laughs> okay, five more dollars, bringing it up to 12. What 1250? But I get a respin. I look at these wheels uh, because I'm so used to uh, Wheel of Fortune, having spent so much time on those, uh, and I look at it and say, what's the smallest one? How much do you think I'm going to probably land on the smallest one? Smallest one is what, 250 Oh, I landed on the Mini. Wow. I think that's 10 bucks. And I get a respin. Great. Get close to now being over my uh, initial bankroll. Uh, 97. 25 cents. So, maybe a profitable session. Got the mini again? This was not a progressive mini, this is a uh, constant value. So, the, min this, the mini is not a progressive jackpot, it's just a $10 win. Okay, up to $35. I'm over, what, $100? It is now a profitable session. And $250 with a respin. Awesome. Seven dollar win, okay. So that did not give me a respin, and so I won forty four dollars and fifty cents, which brings me going to show that again. Yeah, the celebration, uh, you know, everybody watches the celebration walking by, and that's part of the, that's the casino's plan, is for them to see, oh, look at that big win, and encouraging others to go to the machine next to this, and it not being a winner, or any slot machine, or this uh, game theme located somewhere else, because they think that's why. No, it, it, this is a display for the player, but it's also a display for anybody walking by. For me, it's trying to get me to give all, all this back. So I started with $100 and I ended with $116.75 profitable session. And if you want to understand how this works, I, I, I explain in my uh, five spin method assessment video and five and my highly visible machines video and hey, my cat's up here <laughs> and so uh, a top one is five spin a uh, bottom one is the highly uh, highly visible areas also known as location 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 bye